A developer is looking to replace old apartments on Providence Road with some new housing. Yeah, the project is forcing tenants at the crest on Providence to move out once their leases end. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman reports that some neighbors are happy to be leaving what they call unlivable conditions, while others are struggling to find somewhere else to live. Renters at the Crest on Providence Apartments were notified in March they could not renew their leases, forcing them to leave to make way for new development. I think it's a great idea. These um, units should have been torn down years ago. Colleen Tolson pays $1,500 a month for her two-bedroom townhome, but says the living conditions are what's costing her. Sometimes you would just wake up and the water would be off. You come home from a long day of work, the water is off. There's mold in a lot of these units. When we moved in here, my daughter became sick right away. Neighbors have also reported mold. These photos from inside Nicole McNeil's unit before she moved out in May. We had constant nosebleeds, my children, coughs, upper respiratory infections, um, things we'd never dealt with. Several renters tell us they've stayed here at Crest on Providence because it's the only place they can afford. Everybody's ready for a rent strike here in this state because the rent is ridiculous and it does not make sense. Redeveloping the apartments is part of a large project announced earlier this year, hoping to revamp this part of Providence Road. We asked the property manager about resident concerns and mold issues. A spokesperson says they will not comment beyond this following statement. The 50 plus year old Crest on Providence apartments have reached the end of their physical life expectancy, which is why leases are not being renewed and properties will be replaced. Management is actively assisting residents in finding new homes by hosting weekend housing fairs with similar communities and offering help from our in-house relocation specialist. Tolson's lease is up in August. She's working to find a new home and says she and many of her neighbors want their money back from Crest on Providence. I should have never been allowed to move into this unit. These units have been past their time. I really do hope that, you know, they have to pay for what they're doing to tenants. According to management, 175 residents have found new homes so far, and if people need more time after their lease ends to find something, they'll allow them to stay. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.